I'll guide you through how you can add and set up Stinger transitions in OBS. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. We start off with OBS and the main st uh, streaming and recording page in OBS. We navigate down to scene transitions. We press on the fade button and then we go and slide down till we find add Stinger. We press this. Please enter the name of the transition. You can name this anything you want. I'll just keep the default name and I press OK. After you get here, the first task that you need to do is for you to add your Stinger transition. You need to create a video beforehand. And after you open this up, then you move off and you can uh, get uh, accustomed everything. You can set up everything according to your wishes. So most Stinger transitions are really short and uh, transition point is a really important setting for them. What that means is they can uh, start off uh, at zero. For me, zero works because mine is longer, but most uh, will need to up their transition point to around 800. Why, why is this important? Because when you transition from one scene to another, your B scene, the scene that you're transferring to, will show up before the Stinger cut is shown on the screen. You, you will get, go straight A to B, and when you get to B, then it will trans transition into the Stinger cut. You make sure that you have this set up properly. I can return the it to zero for myself we can also press preview transition and as you can see it's currently transitioning and here we are we are off to b now i'll just press ok and after i have pressed ok now i can transition to another scene for example i can go into scene 2 and just press it and here it is as you can see, the transition just happened. That is it. Thank you for watching.